Yeah, I was like, wow, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, they came out uh, hard and uh, I got the first one and then we slowly chipped away and, um, you know, ultimately I didn't love our first just because we gave up uh, quite a few great A chances to a rookie goalie in his first game. I think we made it a little harder on him than we had to uh, tighten it up a little more in the second. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm happy for Eustis for him to get his first win. Uh, young kid works hard and uh, you take him any way you can get him. I'm happy for him. I'm happy we get get it done for him. Yeah, they made it a little interesting at the end, but our power play responded uh, like they have been lately. So, um, you know, we thought uh, they'd come out a little bit harder with the coaching change and uh, some some lineup changes, and um, you know, luckily we were able to keep enough separation throughout the game and. Uh, Ultimately, you got enough to, to get it done. What did you see on the player you saw at the time? In the third? Yeah. Yeah. Um, luckily, I caught sight of it. Um, I think it was going in, but uh, I just saw it right in front of me and just tried to whack it away. At first, I was a little worried that I was going to whack it out of play and then we got into play game. But luckily, uh, you know, just got my hand on it. Luckily, got it out of there. You did. You got goals. You got it. Three power play goals for Shorty. Obviously, they got some special teams goals as well. But overall thoughts about the Yeah, it's good. Um, oh. We, uh, yeah, that's the surprise. Um, we, we're giving up more than we want right now, Mike, to be honest. Uh, we need to tighten that up. We can't be playing six, five, six, four, seven, five games all year. So um, that's an issue, I think. Um, luckily, we're scoring. I think we're number one in expected goals for um, and near the bottom in expected goals against. So I think uh, we need to clean that up. We can't be playing like that all year. That's not how we want to play. And, uh, you know, luckily, power play came through. We got a shorty. They got a power play goal. They got a shorty at the end. But uh, overall, I think we need to clean it up. Well, it seems to be, uh, in your opinion. Special teams? You no, know, just the, the high scoring games kind of have to outscore some problems right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously our number one goalie's out. Um, and then number two, I think we're giving up too many grade A chances in the slot. I think we're um, playing a little bit on the move in the D zone. I think when we um, when we play straight line, stop and start, when we get swinging and kind of try and cheat for offense, that that's where we get in trouble. And I, you saw it on their first goal. We kind of vacated the zone early and then they got a great A in the slot and scored. Um, so I think it's just having the defensive mindset first. I mean, if we take care of our own zone, we're going to have plenty of chances to win the game. We just have to have the mindset where we take care of our own zone and then the offense will eventually take care of itself. How much that an injury? Like you alone, you've had four different D partners in the last you know week and a half. How much does that contribute to it? Yeah, I mean, uh, that doesn't really matter for us. Uh, on D, we play with everybody. Um, of course, when you have your number one goalie out, uh, that's a huge difference. He's one of the best in the league. So. Um, but, um, you know, injuries are always a part of it. It seems right now, you know, when we get one guy back, we lose a guy. But, um, you know, it gives other guys opportunities to step up and, and get in those roles, and they've done well with it. And um, it's just kind of next man up mentality, as cliche as it sounds. What else? What else that so sick. How do you describe that? I mean, yeah. But did Bobby Orr come into Yes. In yeah, it did at that time, actually. Um, I think I said Bobby on the bench. I was that was unreal. Um, he pulls those out, you know, all the time. It's crazy. So uh, just a special talent, great goal. Okay, thank you. Um, Go ahead, one more. Yeah. Uh, you play on the penalty kill a lot, playing on the penalty kill. What's your mind on that? Or wow, point. Yeah, OC's been awesome. Um, you know, he doesn't play like a younger guy. He has a really good motor to his game and. Um, you know, he, he just never stops. He has that no quit mentality and um, always has his legs moving and always looking for the next big, uh, big play at the big moment. Like he did on that shorthanded goal. He made an unbelievable play. I just had to tap it in and uh, I'm happy for him because he's worked hard. He went undrafted and then might, made his way into the NHL and uh, is a real impact player for us and, and uh, a key player for us. Great. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Godswin. Thank you. For your general motion, first, first or any uh, well, it was fun. Like that's like always where I dream about them. There's not long like time ago when I played video games with those guys, so it's kind of fun to play like with them and against. So it was it was great. What has your last two days been like? How much of a whirlwind has it been? I mean, Colorado on such quick notice to get to Toronto. How hard has it been to get settled in? Well, like on the ice, it's like. So much faster and like better shots. So, like I, I think like I just need to get 